Now, if you have any questions about any of these flies, please, please call me. Or you can text me, email me, or call me at the shop. All right, stop in and have a cup of coffee. So the first five we're actually going to do is a, is a squid pattern. Uh, squid are very important. Everybody loves calamar. And so this is what we're going to start with. We're going to use long shank hook, stainless steel. We're going to use some of this yarn. We're also going to use this braid. And we're going to use a bunch of saddle hackle. All right. So. First thing we do, and I re highly recommend this, all saltwater hooks, I take the barbs off because they're easy to get out of the fish, but they're easy to get out of me. So that. First thing we do. Take down the barbs. There we go. I'm gonna uh, we're gonna use Flat wax white. That's two ten denier. Load of barbers up with flat wax nylon. Put down a nice base. And Take, uh, take the saddle hackle, take a, you know, three, four, five, you could do uh, six, but just take a bunch of them and haphazardly put them around. Don't have them all facing the same way. Don't have them all the same length. I got four right here. I'm going to tie it right on top. Up, put them right on top like that, and if they spray out and they go all different directions, don't worry about it. I got some of this flashaboo, this barred flashaboo. Take it, and let's put it in here, just for a little accent. Yeah. I'm going to take some yarn, tie it in right here like this, bring my thread back to about this point, and wrap some yarn. I'm going to take roughly about six inches, cut this in half, tie it on like this, and 
Then I'm going to actually do some half hitches. Roughly three or four. And then cut it. Uh, to make it a little more durable, I'm just going to put a little bit of head cement right there. Now, I'm going to push back on there. See that? And I'm going to take my thread right behind where we tied it in and come down again. Tie it in. Tie it in pretty tight. Do some half hitches. Cut it off. Do some more head cement right there. And push this back like that, right on top. And right behind the eye, I'm going to lasso it again. And now I'm going to throw just one half hitch in just to, in case I cut the string, I don't lose anything. Because what I want to do now is you take underneath, you cut right underneath, right up to the, th right up to your tie-in, like this. And then just trim that off. All right, my thread and take a nice, Head. And we'll finish. And then take this out. Get yourself a Sharpie, a black Sharpie. What you're going to do is you're actually going to put dots. Don't do this on your wife's good table. <laughs> so it looks like this. And then I, you could glue eyes on this. The problem with gluing eyes on this, uh, the, the idea of this fly, it's very light. It's extremely light. And by gluing eyes onto this, what's going to happen is you're going to add weight. If you put epoxy over the eyes, stick on eyes will not stay by themselves. You're going to have to put some coating on them. Um, I prefer to use this right here. These are uh, fabric paints. If you uh, squirt it in there, make it the eye with fabric paint, it actually is absorbed into the uh, into the uh, the webbing of this braid, and uh, it just makes it uh, it bonds really well. It just uh, it takes a little light while to dry, but not a lot. So what I do is.
put one on this side and one on that side like that let it dry and then i'll come in here with black fabric paint and put a dot right in the center the pupil in the center and it looks terrific and it bonds really well i'm going to let it dry and then I'll, I'll put the other spot on and that's that's the squid i mean it's a really really terrific terrific uh pattern like i said everything like squid the, all these patterns are variations of, from Jack Garside, which was a terrific ter tire. Uh, the next fly is another called a fish head. And there are many, 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 many ways of tying this stuff. But so I'm just going to uh, show you one of the ways I tie it. The key to these flies are they're bulky, they move water, but they they have no weight at all. I'm going to use another uh, uh, stainless steel hook. It is uh, a little bit smaller. You could use larger too. I mean, it really depends on what, how big you want your fly. Again, the barb. And then, now, the color of the braid where I'm using today is actually uh, orange. So I'm actually going to use a heavy orange thread, right, uh, for this fly. If you if you only have white and you have sharpies, you can color that thread any color you want. But uh, I have the orange. I'm going to use it. I'm making an orange uh, fish head today. <clears throat> there again, I'm just going to put a nice base. Now I'm using a lot of different saddle hackles here. So I'm mixing up the colors. I got orange, I got reds. All right, so I'm gonna have a lot of different little colors. And there again, you could make it any way you want. On this one, I think I'm gonna have all the feathers facing each other, like this. See how they're facing each other? I don't want the, all the tips lined up. all of them at once straight down pinch wrap see they're not all evenly up set up wrap it up Oh, there you go. And I'm going to put some red crystal flash in this. So what I'm going to do is you take a piece. Just like it. I don't want to put a lot of flash in these flies. I think that sometimes the flash actually scares them. So I cut it in half. I'm actually going to come underneath. And I'm going to wrap down so the crystal flash is on both sides, on this side and on that side. Did you see how I did that? I put it, pulled it up, then pulled it, separated them 
tie them in. Okay. I'm going to take my braid, just like we did with a squid. Actually, I'm just going to cut this in half. I don't need, I don't need all this. And tie it in just like that. Do a bunch of half hitches. Very simple. You just go in there, hold it like that, take your bobbin, bobbin and pull it down. And then cut it. Take your heads about. Okay. Push it back on top of itself, all the way right there. And Lasso it. See how I do a loose wrap right behind the eye. Right behind the eye. Now I'm going to throw away one half inch only because I'm going to trim this now. Like my, take my scissors, go right down the center, right down on the bottom. See, I'm cutting it right down on the bottom. I can pick it up and trim them out. it up and then just make a nice head to a whip finish And trim it off. And put a little head cement on it. And I'm going to use the same paint. You could use all different colors too. I think the eyes are more for the fishermen than the fish in this case. Yeah. So I'm going to put my eyes right there. And my eyes right there. And when it dries, when it gets almost dry, you can flatten it out and then. Uh, you could really just with your fingers, but you got to let it dry a little bit, and then you could put the black on it, and it just it really, really makes it makes it look good. So and that's the fly. So.
So I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Uh, this is something new I'm doing. If I move it too fast, I'm sorry. Uh, please uh, give me a call. Uh, if you have any suggestions, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to be redoing the other, uh, my other flies, the first two weeks, the same way. So there's no interruptions or anything. Please feel free to call me. Stop it at the shop. I do have this stuff, materials on the shelves. So come on in. It is busy. So, you know, don't wait, you know. But anyway, uh, I hope that everybody enjoyed it. I uh, hope to see you soon. And uh, until next week, tie lines, everybody.